world's kind of revolting against these mega siloed that's the platforms. Risk, that's the risk of having such centralized control of a technology. If you remember in the old days when Microsoft's dominance was rising, all you had to do was target Windows as a virus platform, and you're able to impact thousands of businesses, mm -hmm. even in the early internet days, you know, within hours. And yeah. it's the same thing happening right now. as a weaponization of these social media platforms and, and Google's search engine technology and so forth yeah. is the same side effect now. The centralization of that control is the problem. One of the reasons I love the block stack technology and, and blockchain in general is the ability to decentralize yeah. these things right now. And the most passionate thing I'm, I care about nowadays is being driven out of Europe, where they have a lot more maturity in terms of handling these new scenarios. You mean the tech being driven out of Europe? The laws, the laws. being okay. driven out of Europe. And Be the, specific, we'd like The an major example. deadline that's coming up in May, May 25th of 2018 is GDPR, General Data Protection Regulation, where European citizens now, and any company, American or otherwise, catering to European citizens, has to respond to things like the right to be forgotten request. You've got 24 hours as a global corporation mm -hmm. with European operations to respond to European citizens, EU citizens, right to be forgotten request where all the personally identifiable information, the PII, has to be removed and an audit trail proving yeah. it's been removed has to be gone from two, three hundred internal systems within 24 hours. Yeah. And this has teeth, by the way. It's not like the $2.7 billion fine that Google just you know, flipped away yeah. casually. This has up to 4% of your global profits per incident where you yeah. don't meet that requirement. Right. And so what we're seeing in the case of GDPR is that's an accelerant to adopt cloud because we actually isolate the data down into regions and the way we've architected our platform from day one has always been a true multi-tenant SaaS technology platform. And so there's not that worry about data resiliency and where it resides and how you get access to it because we've built all that up. And so when we go through all of our own attestations, whether it's SOC type one, type two, GDPR as an initiative, what we're doing for HIPAA, what we're doing for a plethora of other things, usually the CISO says, oh, I get it, you're way more secure, now help me. Because I don't want the folks in development or operations to go amok, so to speak. I want to be an enabler, not Dr. No. I search for data, I'm just searching for data. That's right. So how do I control, what's the controls available for making sure that I don't go afoul of GDPR? So absolutely, so we have, we have phenomenal security capabilities that are built into our product, both from an identification point of view, giving rights and privileges, as well as protecting that data from any third party access. All of this information is going to be compliant with these regulations beyond GDPR. There's enormous regulations around data that require us to keep our security levels as high as we go. In fact, we would argue that AWS itself is now typically more secure, more secure. They've done than the work. Classic yeah, data they've center. done the work. AI or explicable machine learning. Yeah, that's a hot Indeed. focus of or concern of enterprises everywhere, especially in a world of governance or governance tracking and linear, Precisely. GDPR and so forth, so hot. Yes, yeah. you've mentioned all the right things. Yeah. Now, so given those two things, there's no ML web data and ML is not easy. Why the partnership between Hortonworks and IBM makes sense? Well, you're looking at the number one industry leading big data platform in Hortonworks. Then you look at a DSX local, which I'm proud to say I've been there since the first line of code, and I'm feeling very passionate about the product, is the merge between the two ability to integrate them tightly together gives your data scientists secure access to data, ability to leverage the Spark that runs inside the Hortonworks cluster, ability to actually work in a platform like DSX that doesn't limit you to just one kind of technology but allows you to work with the multiple technologies, ability to actually work on your not only Spark you say technologies here, you're referring yes. to frameworks like TensorFlow? Precisely. And, okay, okay. Very good. Now, that part I'm going to get into very shortly. Okay. <laughs> so please don't steal my thunder. PR, you see as a big opportunity for cloud providers, like Azure. Uh, in, in or the they bring, they so bring something to the table, right? Yeah, it, they bring different things to the table. They bring, you have elements of data where you need that on-premise solution, you need to have control, and you need to have that restriction about where that data sits. And um, some, of the, some of the talks here that are, are going on at the moment is, is understanding, again, how critical and how risky is that data? What, what is it you're keeping, and what is, how, how high does that come up and how business value it is? So if that's going to be on your on-premise solution, there may be other data that can get pushed out into the cloud, but I would say Azure, 
the, the AWS suites and, and, and Google, they, they are really pushing down that security, what you can do, how you can protect it, how you can protect that data. And you've got the capabilities of things like LSR or GSR and having that global reach or that local repositories for the object storage. So you can start to control by policies. You can write into this country, but you're not allowed to go to this country and you're not allowed to go to that one. And cloud does give you that to a certain element but also then you have to step back into maybe such a thing like the So does that make really? Cloud Orchestrator more valuable or is it, or has it still got more work to do? Because under what Adam was saying is that the point and click is, is a great way to provision, mm -hmm. right?